Hey guys, how are we doing? Matt's here from Sprues and Brews. Now, Dave recently posted about him starting a death army for his uh, Age of Sigma project for the uh, tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. So, I'm a big Chaos fan and I've had my eye on Tom Erkin, the Maggot Lord, for a long time. So, without further ado, going to open up the box from Forge World and have a look at the guy. So, here's the, uh, the box from Forge World. It currently costs £135. Um, order this Monday, came on Thursday, so again really quick uh, speedy delivery from the Forge World guys. Quite hefty box as well, um, and they recently moved them all from the kind of bags that they came in into boxes. Just looks a bit nicer and a bit easier to store. So let's have a nosy inside. So if we pop this open, inside we've got the usual assortment of bags and parts. So we'll just put that to one side for now. Let's have a look. So in this large pile of bubble wrap we have got the main body of the beastie. Now again he is a really nice looking model. The uh, Plague Toad, which is the mount of Tom Erkin, who I believe is a um, possessed ogre, which is different. But yeah, he's really nice and fair size as well. Like, compared to my hand, it's a hefty chunk of resin. Very much looking forward to painting this guy up. Let's just pop him to one side and have a nosy what else we get in here. So. We'll look at the smaller kind of box in here first. And this seems to have most of the parts for the rider to merc on. Again, really, really nice sculpts. First of all, we'll have a look at the, the big man himself. And yeah, he is a, uh, he's very cool. And if you saw on our Twitter the other day, he's about the size of the mounted Knight of Shrouds. So a, a hefty model, and he looks really cool. So he comes in there. He also comes with a cool banner. Yeah, that's really uh, gruesome looking, which is what you need in your Nurgle. Yeah, that's cool. There's the tongue of the toad dragon. Just bring that into focus. Uh, it might be a little bit fiddly to paint with it on. I might leave that separate and attach it uh, towards the end of the process. Some detailing there for the uh, saddle, I believe. Again, suitably nurgly and grotesque, which is always cool. You get a sprue of nerdlings and these guys don't have anywhere to live on the instructions they can just go uh, go where they like as all their uh, nerdlings end up and then finally in that box we have the cleaver bring that into focus so yeah massive massive weapon for the big man uh, it's really cool as well I think it re-rolls hits against heroes so this guy is a bit of a character assassin, which is really cool. So we'll pop this back in the box and we'll cut to the uh, the big bag of goodies as well. So next in the box we've got a massive bag of bits. Uh, probably the tail and the legs in here. So let's get inside and, and have a nosy at them. So these parts are the uh, the base. So his leg, he, he doesn't come with a, a, a usual kind of round base, but his feet will rest on these kind of rock looking parts. And again, they're really nicely detailed. I'm sure you could easily fit the whole thing onto a base. Probably would be one of the bigger ones. Maybe the one that Archeon comes on. Uh, I'll be building this up and painting it as a bit of a project log on here, so uh, I'm sure I will update you with you know what size base you need 
put this guy on. Next we have got a Mahusiv tail. So yeah, I mean the, the, the size of this thing is is ridiculous. He's gonna be one of the biggest Sigma kits. I mean if you kind of look at the size of the thing with its tail in, that's a that's a pretty big monster. In fact, I'll uh, do a comparison a little bit to how big he is compared to say a, a Warhound Titan, just to give you an idea of, of how massive the Dragon Toad is. So not many parts left, and it's got quite a low model count, uh, part count this model, because uh, most of it's in the big, the big body piece. But we get obviously the legs, which are nicely detailed as ever from Forge World. So there's one. And another one, and I believe in here we should have the final two legs, and I believe that'll be all the parts then. Yep. So that looks like maybe one of the back legs, and the other back leg. And then the last thing in the box, obviously the instructions. So a bit of a component list there with all the parts and then it's an, it's an older Forge World kit now so I know a lot of them come with nice kind of colour instructions this one you've got to be a little bit more of an experienced uh, builder to put it together but it's got what 20 parts including the Nurgling so it shouldn't be too difficult to put together I imagine there might be a little bit of filling but um, but no very happy with him and looking forward to to getting this guy built so yeah, before we go, to give a quick comparison against the size of a Titan. So here we have the uh, pride of me, Forge World Collection, my um, Legio Ignatum Titans. And yeah, just to show how big this guy is, the body of Tamarcan is mm, almost as tall as a, as a Warhound. I imagine with the tail on, it's probably going to be a, a similar height and you know, it's quite a big base he's on as well. So definitely very impressed with um, with this guy and I'll be getting some more videos up when he's built. So until then, we'll see you later.